Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays XCOM 2. I'm Stealing 33 and hello everybody. How's it going? Uh, last time we managed to get through a mission. Uh, and if I remember correctly, it went, it went pretty well. Um, I don't remember exactly what we did. Uh, it's been been about a day and I had I did a lot yesterday so I don't, <laughs> I don't really remember what I did. But... Um, it seems to, it, we did fine as far as I remember. We got a lot of money, and I managed to outfit some of the sh systems in the ship and dig out some stuff. Plated armor will be done in five days. And between episodes here, I bought, um, I bought magnetic weapons. Uh, so we now have magnetic rifles, which is good. Uh, I didn't have enough supplies to get mag pistols and the shard gun. But, but, uh, it's, uh, we'll be doing fine. So we'll scan for activity, and we'll just, uh, well, uh, see what we see. See what we see. Sounds good to me. Eee. Hopefully things, uh, don't go terribly wrong. Looks like we're getting more Avatar Project, uh, progress, I guess. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar Project. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Man, I'm working on it, all right? Let's not, uh, let's not get too big for our britches here. Okay. All right. View targets. What do we got? Uh, we got hack the resistance computer for a scientist. What is this one? Just uh, get an engineer. Get intel. The intel one blocks the minor breakthrough. Yeah, we're going to have to do that one. So I guess we're going to South Africa for intel, guys. Thumbs up. Super happy about this. Intel's definitely the resource that I needed. Not at all. I mean, I guess it's useful because I can buy stuff from the black market using it, but I would prefer not to have intel if the possible. Let's give uh, Fiza an incendiary grenade and an acid grenade. That should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll give Tony... I don't want Tony to have the... The Tony can have the skull jack, I guess. Nah. Nah, well, we'll leave him... Let's give him a battle scanner. That'll let him... Because since he moves... Ah! Since he moves the furthest out of everyone, um, I think giving him this battle, the battle scanner to scout out the area will be in our favor. We'll give Rob a med kit. Uh, let's give the sniper dude dragon rounds. Seems good to me. Uh, and then let's get rid of... No, I... I don't want Schmidt on the on the mission. Let's, let's give me that back. Take a frag grenade. Um, let's remove Schmidt and let's put a rookie on instead. Uh, I don't need two snipers. I feel like that's a little too much. Um, snipers are great, but I'm I'm finding them to be less great in this game in XCOM 2 than I found them in XCOM 1. And let's give our sniper the dragon rounds. AP rounds are great, but we have so many grenades on here right now. Um, this one removes two armor. All of them remove at least one armor. I don't think we really need it. And I think with that, we'll be good to go. Yeah, let's give Tony a magnet, a magnetic gun, actually. Um, the magnetic, the magnetic rifle does five to seven damage. It's just better than the shotgun. The shotgun's great. Don't get me wrong. It's better than a normal rifle, but the magnetic rifle's better than the regular shotgun. So yeah. And I thought I gave Rob. I thought you had a special weapon. You do. Oh, that's right. I forgot that magnetic guns can hit uh, two things. But I named your gun Valentine, I thought. Because that's what Rob wanted. And then we'll make the gun purple. Purple. And we'll give it... Let's give it... Uh, give it plaid. Plaid seems good. And let's give you... Expanded magazine might be fun. Let's give him expanded mags. Expanded mag seems fine. Rob will hopefully be around for a little while here, and we'll uh, we'll make good use of his his abilities. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's get this party started. See how we're going to do here. See how we see. See how we see. Should be fine. 
I need to adjust Tony's colors. He asked me to make his character dressed in all black, like the night sky. But for now, he can be pretty in red. Awesome. All right. This should be too hard. The defense missions are normally like getting to the object is the difficult part. Once you're there, it's not normally fairly difficult to like protect the space because you can like you basically own the space at that point, so there's no reason to like worry about protecting it. Sounds good, Capitan. Let's go ahead and move. Let's uh, we'll move the sniper to here. Okay. Just scout out the area. We're gonna try to. I want to get as close as possible without breaking concealment, as we can. Um. Which means that we'll be we'll be moving aggressively. During this opening part of the mission here, uh, I'll probably be also taking the opportunity to hack some stuff, which will be nice, but. We gotta avoid any civilians. We have to avoid them, and then obviously any alien pods. We have to avoid those as well. Um, I'd like to be at least halfway across the map before we pop anything. Yeah, it should be fine. Rob has improved hacking now. Uh, I think his hack got improved by twenty from. The last mission that he was on, the one where I think where we took over the code matrix, or where we took that thing out. Um, so hopefully, they're they're hurting my uh, the j jammy thing, but it's got a lot of HP, so maybe maybe it'll be fine. Uh, let's have Rob come to here, and let's have him hack this. I want to see if it gets rid of the uh, sight field, like the like little revealing field around it as well as see like you know what what can we get out of this what advantage is this going to warrant us right now because if it's a good enough advantage it might be worth taking a risk enemies are reduced enemy will by 50 percent soldier gains complete immunity to two attacks let's do that one hopefully this works out fine and we don't end up with map alert all right cool nice soldier gains complete immunity from the next two attacks Cool. So Rob's immune to to damage now. Did that get rid of the sight field around it too? No? Oh, did it? Oh, it did. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, we'll still have the rookie. We'll have the rookie and Tony come up on the opposite side, and we'll try to like pincer around the outside here. Round the outside. Round the outside. Is that a viper? It's a viper and a sectoid pod. That's scary combination. I don't think I like that at all. Um, let's move the rookie up against this post. And then we'll move the sniper to here. We made it a pretty like, we made it a distance without uh, being spotted here. So I'm feeling okay about this. Not great, because you know I would have liked to have made it further before we Bumped into something that I think I feel like is in my best interest to take by surprise. It's in my considerable best interest to take by surprise. Right. Please stop shooting that. Please, I need that. That's important. All right, Rob will or. Uh, our heavy will be noticed if uh, we move her at all. And there's no way for Rob to... There's no way for Tony to get any closer than where we presently are. So let's do... Now, this is a, this is as good as a time as any. Let's go ahead and do all of this. Overwatch is across the board. And then we will open fire... On the sectoid. The sectoid is probably the most important thing for us to kill. The vipers are annoying and they're strong because they got like the lashy tongue thing that's going on. But um, 
I'm more concerned about taking out the sectoid with all of its, like, mind control and other BS that, uh, I think will, this will service us well. Right, we dealt some damage to the Viper. The Viper is dead. Or the sectoid is dead. The Viper is dead. Awesome. Took out two big threats right away. Rookie's been promoted. That was a good, that was a good Overwatch trap. Tony is still invisible, though, so let's let's sneak him over here. And let's see if uh, we can get some sneaky sneakies going on. He's the only one who's invisible, though, so I need to remember that. Everyone else can still be seen. They're really wailing on that thing. Like a lot. That's okay. Well, uh... Tony's still invisible, so let's... Let's run him. Why is this flanked? Is there a bad guy over there? Let's check it out. No, there's no bad guy over here. Let's move Tony to here. Well, there is a bad guy over here. Okay. But they can't see Tony, so... You should be safe for now. But now we also know where there is a bad guy, or there's a, another pod for us to worry about. Okay, not a problem. We can make this. We can make this work. Hopefully that'll. Maybe if that draws them out, then we might be able to make some moves with everyone else to make this make these guys in a world of hurt. For instance, we can. So we have to remember our sniper has dragon rounds. So anything she shoots will be lit on fire. Uh, she also does bonus damage, sort of, in general. I guess it... Oh, no, yeah, he's on fire. And he's dead, because he's only got one HP left. So, that's great. I'm happy about that. Let's move to here. And we'll fire at that guy, because he's being flanked. Get wrecked, nerd! We missed. <laughs> that sucks, but whatever. What are we going to do? I like that the, the cars all have, like, little solar panels on them. Like. Okay, what do we what do we do here? I want to move Rob closer so he can get a shot. But there's nowhere for me to move him that's in cover. You know, Rob has immunity to the next two attacks that shoot at him. So let's put him... Let's put him somewhere stupid. Where we'll then fire... Ah. Fire a weapon at the advent trooper. Oh, the officer's dead. Um. Good. That seems to have worked out. Sort of. This is... It, it's fine because Rob's immune to the next two attacks that fire at him. He's, that he's immune to them. So, potentially speaking, we might be justified in this action. Now, I'm nervous that the... Uh, the pod that we saw, we'll see Tony soon. That car's gonna explode. That's bad. That's bad. Don't explode, car. Don't do it. You have so much to live for. Alright. The pod with the the, the codec thing... Which I, th I think that's what that was. I don't know. It was two sectoids and something else. Um, disappeared. It's not over there anymore. Which makes me nervous. Well, they're going to save Tony's turn. Because I would like it if he could stay... If he could stay concealed for as long as possible. That would be in our favor here. Shoot over the top of the car here. Oh, we have to reload, don't we? Faiza, what are you doing? Faiza. Faiza! Okay. Oh, apparently she's fine. Um, no idea what happened there. That's alright. Not a big deal. Nothing we can't live with. Let's grab our sniper. Should be able to knock that guy down. 54% chance to hit him. And if she hits him, he dies. She did. Fantastic. Alright. Now, invisible Tony. Let's move you to here. Alright, what do we get? Advanced repeater and a hair trigger. Nice! 
All right, we'll put that on. Put that to good use at some point. You can see the codec. Maybe we'll take the opportunity to open fire on the codec here. Now let's move Rob behind this full cover here. We've got the luxury of being able to sprint this turn. I mean, it might. We also could. Now the sectoids in cover. Let's wait. We'll do a concealed Overwatch here. So they're moving on the objective, obviously. Four damage. Things getting beat up, but it's hanging tight, so... Not terribly concerned about that. Let's sneak Tony around... To over here. I'm hoping to get him to flank the bad guys here. And I want to keep uh, keep tabs on them. So, let's move the rookie up. And we'll have the rookie just open fire on them if he can. He did not get vision, so we'll reload. Instead, alright, let's move you to here. And you will also reload. A lot of reloading. More, another auto loader would be super dope. Put that on our sniper. Hmm. Could get into that. Right, let's move Faiza here. And maybe we'll be able to get a grenade off on that pack over there. Well, let's open the door, please. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Okay, so we can see them, but... We can, we can see them with Tony. We know where they are. But we can't shoot at them because we're not close enough with anyone else. So, let's put to, uh, Rob here for now. We'll have him overwatch. If they move closer to us at all, we'll be able to fire at them. Which, yeah, it's a codec and two sectoids. That's wunderbar. Missing those magnetic shots is bad. But it's okay. We'll be able to we'll be able to compensate here. All right, let's save Tony's turn for last, because like I said before, I do want him to be as invisible. I want him to be invisible for as long as possible. All right, what do you got? 46, 20, 26. If we move into here, you should have a flanking shot on that sectoid. That is exactly what happened. 66 percent chance to hit the sectoid. Go ahead and take that. Seven damage. Nothing to sneeze at. I say that a lot, nothing to sneeze at. I'm not even sure what it means. Let's go ahead and we'll take Tony's action last. That'll be in our interest. Take the 42 on the other sectoid, put it down a little bit. The codec is scary, but the sectoids are scarier because of all the mind control and other horse hockey that we got to deal with with them. We'll wait for Tony. Let's put... Let's come inside. Step inside! Hey, hey! Dear, 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 dear. We'll put an incendiary grenade down. Right there. Which I don't think will destroy the wall. If it does, it'll give Tony an opportunity to... ...really wreak some havoc. Nope, and it didn't even affect the, uh... ...the code. I could just put a big torrent of fire outside the, the church here. Alright, and who we got left? Rob? Rob's left? Put Rob here. And then let's have Rob. That sectoid... The reason I'm not focusing on the other sectoid is because the other sectoid's going to die. Um, like, it's... There's nothing... It, it can't do anything. It's going to die. Uh, it's cloning itself, which hurts it, but then the clone comes back over there. But this gives me an opportunity to deal with the clone. Like, immediately. 56% chance to kill this thing. Let's do it. Pop Tony out of concealment, which messed it up. That's bad. That's alright. Totally fine. They've seen me. They've seen me. Alright, Sectoid's dead. Burnt to death. The only thing we got left is the two... Codex. Which, don't get me wrong, those things are scary, but... They're not... Nearly as scary as... That's bad. We gotta... 
weapon disabled. I think if we leave the zone, maybe our weapons will come back online. Oh, we can't leave the zone because that thing's overwatching now. Oh, 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 no. All right, let's, uh, let's grab the rookie. The rookie has no shot and no ability to get a shot without putting himself inside of that weird bubble. So let's put him here behind this car, which popped the overwatch because I forgot that it was overwatched. Oh, the rookie took damage. That's right, he's alive, which is great because now we can fire at this thing and it's flanked. So get wrecked, nerd. It's been grazed, but, you know, whatever. I learned. It's cloning itself again. Okay. That's uh, unfortunate. Let's put Tony here. And let's slash Arino that bitch Arino. I said slash Arino bitch Arino. Please. I only dealt three damage to it apparently. I should have shot the stupid thing. It's cloning itself again. All the clones only have one HP, so we literally just need to make contact with them and they'll die. Um, we'll take the shot on the one that we actually have a shot on. 74 is pretty good. It's dead. Good. Alright. I want to try to leave. I want to leave this zone. So let's go there. That'll put you outside the zone. And then you can reload. Rob. Why don't you... Why don't you come here, Rob, and you'll also reload. I'm ready. Oh, and you can fire, too. Oh, oh, hello. Let's take a crack at the 78 one through the top of the building, apparently. Wiped that thing out real quick. Good. There's only two codex left, and I don't think that they can... Uh, they can't clone anymore, because they only have one HP, so... I'm glad we moved out of that. That, uh... <laughs> Hello! Alright, it teleported. It's got a flanking shot on our rookie now. Miss? You gonna miss? It missed. Good. Alright. Rookie's still alive. I'm gonna cut you down, bitch. Miss? No, that's a hit. That's right. Tony's gonna be injured. I don't know. It seems fine to me. We have to take out... We have to take out this codec, because Tony's not gonna be able to. So we'll have to figure out what, how we're gonna do that during this turn. Um, let's grab our sniper. Do you have a shot on either of the targets? A 14% shot on both of them? That's not good. That's not good enough. Um, I mean, fuck it. Let's take that one. Maybe it'll land and we'll ease up all of our burden here. Nah, I, didn't, I figured not. It was a long shot, literally. But it's fine. I'm not actually mad about it because I figured it wasn't going to work. But... Maybe this one will. 27% chance to hit this guy. We'll take it. It blew up a hole in the wall. Which makes her have half cover now. Which hopefully allows Fiza to get a good shot here. Good. It's dead. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, now... Rob... Rob, you need to save Tony somehow. How are we going to put Rob in a position where you can save Tony and be safe? Here should do it. It did not. Yes, it did. So, 55% chance to hit that bitch. Fire. And we made it. Alright. Seems we have done it. Codec brain dropped. Fantastic. Alright. Excellent work. Only two wounded. 
it's the rookie and Tony are going to be pretty messed up, I think. But everybody made it home alive, which, you know, I call that a victory end of the day here. End of the day, that's all that matters. All right. Whew. Not bad. Not bad. If every mission goes about this well, we'll be good to go. So by the when we get plate armor back, we'll be able to send out we'll be able to send out everybody. Um We'll be able to do the black side. I think on the next episode, assuming that we don't something else doesn't come up, like we don't get retaliation mission or something, we'll probably try to do the black site mission on the next episode. Um I'm not sure what that does. I'm not sure what it gives us. I'm not sure if it's important. I'm not sure if it's useful. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Alright. Good to go. Let me at him. Because I think with plated armor and magnetic weapons, we can handle most of what the game's going to throw at us at the black site. Let's go with blast padding. I think blast padding is better than shredder because you end up with so many grenades as a... Uh, um, as the Grenadier that I don't see any reason why, I don't see any reason why you would take, uh, Shredder over Blast Padding. You just do the exact same thing except from range with explosions. Uh, Dark Event countered project, uh, so they won't be able to make a breakthrough on the Avatar project, which is great. Happy about that. Let's go ahead Ooh, we got more rookies. Let's go ahead and... We'll scan for that to clear out some time here. Which will hopefully allow us to get... Good to go. Battlefield medicine is done. Carry on. Nano med kit. The nano med kit represents a substantial upgrade in our standard med kit, increasing the health restored to injured soldiers. Nice. Plated armor. Nice. Uh, basically, this is just advanced armor. What do we got? Using scavenged plates from Advent Armor, the suit provides increased protection and additional inventory capacity to our soldiers. Nice. We can build a spider suit. Spider records from the ruined mainframe from XCOM HQ indicate an early prototype for a lightweight armor suit, the grappling hook, that never came to fruition. Our recent mastery of the alien's materials will allow us to revive the concept. If we combine the power-assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plating we've recovered, we can develop a heavy variant of the plated armor. More importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mounted to mount directly to the armor, combining significant defense and offense capabilities. Cool. Um, let's grab... Let's grab Gauss weapons before we do anything else. And then let's see... What do I need... What do I need to build the advanced armor? I need 150 supply. All right. We noticed We're good. early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about the Avengers' need to dip. Carry on. Let's keep scanning a little bit here. If we get Gauss weapons before the end of the episode here. I'll be so happy. Aliens improved the threat response. Guaranteed reinforcements on all guerrilla ops. Ooh, that's bad. We got a bunch of rookies. Good. Awesome. Okay. Um. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. Uh, we'll head back to Resistance HQ. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, let me know. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. It helps the channel grow. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, with that, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! -ya.